Tricoidal milling is a very secure, productive high-speed machining technique for removing material in scallops and pockets. It yields tremendous tool life increases, improves chip control, and increases productivity. Huge benefits can be seen in titanium and in canal, where the chip is particularly hard to break, such as this aerospace engine casing. Reducing the radial engagement of the cutter for high-speed machining can have a positive effect on cutting performance. Once the cutter is engaged less than 25% of the diameter of the tool, the feed rate should be increased by a modification factor. Small radial engagement and optimized feed rate will allow higher cutting speeds and deeper axial cuts. When using high-speed machining techniques during an arc movement, the feed rate should be reduced so that the centerline feed rate of the tool equals that of the periphery. This will maintain that same feed per tooth, optimizing tool performance. Tricoidal milling combines the benefits of two different techniques. High-speed machining's low radial engagement, plus maintaining a constant feed per tooth regardless of straight line of arc movements. When tricoidal milling a feature with a width less than two times the cutting diameter, maintain a constant engagement feed rate while keeping the radial engagement no greater than 20% of the cutter diameter. The slicing step over, W, should be approximately 8% of the cutter diameter. When tricoidal milling, a feature with a width greater than two times the cutting diameter, maintain a linear slice with a radial engagement of 10% of the cutter diameter. Roll in and out of cut with a centerline programmed radius of 50% of the cutter diameter. The radial engagement should not exceed 15% of the cutter diameter on roll-in or roll-out of cut. This tricoidal milling calculator is available for use from Sandvik Coromont. Populate the white fields with machining data and the calculator will optimize tool path based on either max radial engagement, AE max, or radial step over, W. Vital data such as feeds and speeds and estimated cut time are also output. When implementing this technique in Siemens NX6 CAM software, bypass the cut pattern, tricoidal, found in the default operations. Alternatively, create driveline geometry and use the fixed contour op. This approach allows tricoidal milling slicing to be more accurately controlled. To create a tricoidal milling toolpath, it is first recommended that the part geometry be specified as a plane created in modeling mode. This plane will act as the floor boundary for the tool. Next, create geometry to drive the tool in a unidirectional slicing pattern. Follow the programming guidelines for features that are less than two times the cutter diameter wide, as well as for those features greater than two times the cutter diameter wide. Using boundary as the drive method of the fixed contour op and the plane as the part geometry, select each drive curve and specify a roll in and out using the engage retract tabs. Arc parallel to toolpath is recommended. As shown here, this programming technique can support a wide variety of scallop and pocket features. Tricoidal milling can lead to tremendous tool life increases, improved chip control and higher productivity, especially in titanium and in canal where the chip is particularly hard to break. For more information about implementing this technique or any other CAM questions, please contact your local Sandvik Coromont representative.